Hey guys, welcome back with another video on our channel Learn with Gigs. In today's video, I will discuss with you all the steps that you should keep in your mind to optimize your Power BI models. And this is a very favorite question of any interviewer. So one should know how to answer this with proper explanation and logic. So let's start the video. And before that, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all my videos. So let's start. So the first thing that you should do is keep only those columns your users need in the report okay so while creating the report you have used many columns you have used many images which are using some of the columns that are present in your tables so consider all those columns only apart from that whatever is left in your tables just remove that delete that from your model okay so once you delete that you will see your the overall size of, of your model will reduce considerably okay so you should keep this in mind and you should not take this decision just without any proper discussion first discuss it with your team discuss it with your users and then take this decision okay so this is the first thing that you should keep in mind that you should keep in your mind the second point that i will share with you is that similar to columns keep only those rows you need okay so we have millions of sometimes we have millions of records in our tables and the number of records that we really want or really want to show the users is very less. For example, maybe you don't need to import data for the last 10 years, but only 5 years data is required in your model. Okay, so try to use incremental refresh. Try, try to filter out the data from the source itself. Okay, so reduce the number of rows, hence your model size will also get reduced, hence the better performance. Okay, so this was the second point that you should keep in your mind. Let's move to the third point. The third point is that aggregate your data whenever possible. Okay, that means fewer rows. Whenever you will aggregate your data, the rows will be reduced. So the size will be reduced and lower cardinality. Cardinality means uniqueness of rows in a column. Okay, so since the size will be reduced, so the cardinality will also be reduced and hence we will be having a better performance and a better model. Okay, so this point also you should consider and and do the aggregations wherever possible okay so let's move to the next point so the next point is use proper data types for example if you have a column of date type then don't make it as date slash time date type column okay you only mark it as or change it to only date don't change it to date or time also we have another example if we have a column which is of text type and for example you have a column of name id and it is containing all the numbers but by default, when you are pulling it in your Power Query editor, the, the data type is text. So since it's containing numbers, you should convert it into whole number instead of text data type. Why to convert into whole number? Because the compressibility factor for numbers is much more than the column having text as its data type. Okay, so you should keep this in your mind while deciding the data types of your columns in a particular table. Okay, so you should also keep this point in your mind while loading and creating your model okay so let's move to the next point so avoid using calculated columns whenever possible since they are not logically optimally compressed instead try to push all calculations from the door from the data source itself or create them in power query editor since in power bi desktop the compressibility factor reduces by 90 percent what i mean is that whenever you want to create a calculated column don't try to make it using DAX. Try to make it in Power Query Editor. And even before that, if you can make it in your from the source only, then try to do that first. But if somehow you have do, you don't have any accessibility to your data source, you can't make any changes, then try to make that calculated column in Power Query Editor. And if it is not possible somehow in Power Query Editor, then come to Power BI Desktop and create the calculated column using DAX. Okay, and the reason behind this, as I have mentioned here, the, the compressibility factor reduces by 90%. Okay, that's why I'm focusing on this point. Okay, so keep this point also in your mind while creating your model. Okay, so let's move to the next point. Disable auto date time option from options and settings. Okay, we, we have an option called auto date slash time whenever you open options and settings from your report. This will have this will remove a bunch of automatically created date tables in background. Okay, so if you have a very so if you have a very large date range used in your model, then definitely you should uncheck this auto date time function 
option from options and settings okay this will definitely reduce your model size and hence your performance okay so let's move to the next point so reduce column cardinality higher the cardinality of a column the harder for vertipack to come to optimally compress the data vertipack what is vertipack vertipack is the in memory analytics x velo x velocity analytics engine that is used to compress the data that we pull in power bi okay so for example if we have a column of date time then split it into two columns one with date and the other with time so so after splitting cardinality is reduced and so the size okay so keep all these points in your mind it, they are very important while creating your models okay you, you will not hear any kind of complaint from your users if you are sharing a report considering all these points implementing all these points in your model before sharing the report okay so let's move to the next point try to use more and more variables in your measures calculated columns and tables so whenever you are creating a multi line dax code try to use variables okay you should keep this in mind and let's move to the next point now do not use bi directional filtering in your data model except for security purpose okay so whenever you are implementing the row level security part in that case only you should consider this bi directional filtering because definitely their uh, bi directional filter is must required to to have our, our ls built properly okay but other than that unless and until if you don't have any other choice then only go for bi directional filtering from your dimension to fact tables otherwise stick to one to many from dimension to fact tables okay don't use bi directional filtering in your model instead if you have to use bi directional then make use of cross filtered x function to implement the logic for bi directional in your measures okay so this is what i wanted to discuss this through this point okay so let's move to the next point try to use report level tool tip okay instead of standard tool tip for better performance so we have different types of tool tips available we have standard tool tips we have report level tool tips we have visual level tool tips so use of report level tool tip instead of standard tool tip will definitely enhance your model performance okay so always keep this in your mind using the tool tips in your report okay so let's move to the last point of this video try to have query folding done for all the transformations performed in power query editor okay so this is the point you should keep in mind whenever you are doing transformations in power query editor so if you will tell even some of the points that i have discussed here to the interviewer in front of the interviewer then definitely your chance of getting recruited will be increased so that's it from this video i hope you learned a lot and if you like the content please hit the like button thank you